Hey guys, Crystal here at Crystal's Crafties. Okay, so you have probably seen this design popping up a lot. This, um, this mama wears her heart on her sleeve is like just taking off in the crafting community and these shirts and these PNG files are selling like crazy on Etsy right now. So I have made a set of words that you can fill in and make your own designs. So this is what I've made. You can get all eight words. I've got Grammy, Auntie, Nana, Gigi, Nana, Mom, Mimi, and Mama. And they come in several different formats. You're going to get an SVG, PNG, PDF, and Canva frames. And that's what this video today is about. I'm going to show you how to take these Canva frames and automatically fill them so that you can get this kind of pattern inside whichever of these words you choose. And then you can end up with your overall design here. Okay, so you guys know that I'm a huge, huge fan of Creative Fabrica, and of course that's where I get these papers and everything that I use to fill the letters with. But I want you to stick with me because I have a really awesome kind of um, Creative Fabrica hack that's going to help you get more digital papers than you think you can, and they're going to be super cool. All right, so let's dive into this. When you purchase this file, you're going to get a PDF with a link. It is a link to Canva that will give you the frames. So you just click that link and you'll be taken to a screen that looks like this. So what this is, is you're using my file, it's creating a copy onto your Canva account. So yes, you do have to have a Canva account. And um, a lot of the more um, trendy kind of designs are gonna be on Canva Pro. So you, you might wanna look into Canva Pro, but I've got a link in the video that you can give it a try for free and see if you like it or not. Okay, so you'll just click use this template. Now you do not have to have Canva Pro to use the template. You can use it without that. Okay, and you'll get all of these words pop up. Uh, you just decide which one you want. Let's do, um, let's do anti. Okay, so whatever you don't want, you delete. You click it and hit the backspace. And there's two different things on each word, so you just kind of have to delete it all. I could have dragged a box and deleted all of that. Okay, now we're just left with our word ante. Like I said, there are two different parts. There's the outline and the actual frame. If you want to size this, you need to make sure they stay together. Drag a box around both of them and then increase the size however big you want it. I'm going to increase it to almost the width of the page. This document is set up as a regular eight by 11 sheet of paper for your printer. Now, if you wanna rotate this and you know make it even bigger, you can do that, but I'm just gonna design this way for now. And I'm going to increase the size of the screen so that you can really see what I'm doing. Okay, here is the outline that we will put back on top of our frame after we have filled our frame. Here is the frame. It is so, so simple to fill this frame. Let me show you. I'm just going to grab this piece of digital paper. I'm going to put it over here until I see, do you see how the frame is changing from its normal um, grass and sky background to this um candy heart and leopard print background. You just put that in there, let go, it's filled. It's that easy. You take your outline, you stick it back on top, and you've got your design done. Okay, so that's how easy it is to fill these. But let me show you this awesome Creative Fabrica hack that I have found. Um, and I can't believe I didn't think of this sooner. Like, I feel really dumb that I didn't think of this, but I'm gonna share it with you. Okay. So to get all these digital papers, I go into Creative Fabrica. Now, right now, and I mean right now, it is currently January 25th, and this is only available until the end of the month. If you want a Creative Fabrica um, all-access subscription and you don't already have one, you can get it 
for $4.99 a month for the whole year. For all of 2023, it'll be $4.99 a month. But what that's going to do actually is bill you once at $59. Like I said, this is only available until the end of January 2023. If you're watching this after that, I'm going to have a different link in the video that's going to take you to a different deal. But right now, this is what we got. Okay, so you just click upgrade and you can see it's normally $348. They're going to give you this super awesome, awesome discount as long as you are using the link that I have given you. And um, you can check out for $59 and you won't ever have to pay for it again for the rest of the year. I'm going to go ahead and log into my account though so that you guys can see where I'm going to get the papers and that awesome hack I was telling you about. Okay, so here I am all logged in. And normally, let me hop back over here and show you these digital papers. Normally, I just go and search for whatever I want. Like at this one, I was actually looking for conversation hearts. So I would come over to here and I would type in um, maybe Valentine's digital paper or conversation heart digital paper. Let's try that. Let's do Valentine's digital paper. Okay, so if I type that in, I'm going to get like just so much stuff and like a lot of this is really really great stuff but I'm I'm limited here on just these digital papers and I am kind of looking for something that is maybe more put together in a meshed up kind of full design instead of just a digital paper well I discovered if you use tumblr wraps I've typed in Valentine's Tumblr wrap, then you're going to get things that are already designed out. Look at this. These are so cool. Let me put in conversation heart Tumblr wrap. There we go, guys. Perfect, 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 perfect. Now I've got the conversation hearts that I want. This is actually what I used in one of my designs. When you do this, when you put in a tumbler wrap, you've got these that are already made. They already have these really cool designs on them other than just the plain digital paper. Let me just click into one of these. Let's go ahead and do this one here that I purchased. And when you get it, you're going to get two different things. In, in most cases, some tumbler wraps will be different, but in most cases, you're going to get a straight tumbler wrap and a tapered tumbler wrap. When you download the file, you can see that I've already downloaded it. You want to use the straight tumbler wrap because that is what's closest to the digital paper that we want. That is hack number one. Hack number two, let me show you this one. Let me do um, leopard print. sublimation background. You're going to get backgrounds that are already pre-designed. A lot of these also have the mesh up, like this one's got a few different things on it. Um, let's see. This one's kind of cool. This one's really cool. They've already got these meshed up designs for you so you don't have to go hunting. Let me show you a designer that I found I really like. This one, Crazy Heifer Design Shop. How cute is that name, right? Okay, look at the stuff that she has. This one's really cool. This one's really cool. All of these are just awesome. Like that would make a great background to fill your doodle letters with. So I'm really not sure why I never thought of this. I've always just searched for digital paper, but then I wanted something a little a little more designer looking. So I started to search for the Tumblr wraps and the sublimation backgrounds and I found all of this amazing stuff. So I'm going to link to these three items that I have used or I will be using in the rest of this tutorial for you to use as well. And now I'll show you how to finish out the rest of this design. Okay, so let's just do these conversation hearts because that's what's already filled in here and we have ante. So I'm gonna shrink the page down a little bit and finish out the rest of the design. So we need our text, right? 
click anywhere in your design that's not on part of um, something, you, so anywhere on the blank area of your design, and type a T. This will pull up this teeny tiny text box, and then we can start typing in it. So we need this is our first word, and I'm going to drag that and make it bigger. And let's just go ahead and drag it and place it on top. Leave that font like it is for now. We want to get all of our words in here and then pick a font. So again, type or click in your blank area, type a T. Oops. And now we've got the words, where's her heart? Make that a little bit bigger. And we'll do it again on her sleeve. Okay, now let's pick a font. Right now, everything we've done has been free. None of this needs the Canva Pro account. But when we start getting into these fonts, that's where you'll see you might want the Canva Pro account. If you already have a font that you absolutely love, you can even upload it into Canva if you have the Pro account. But let's look at the Canva fonts. So let's start with this one, Where's Her Heart? Come over here and click your text box and just type, click up in here and you can start to sort through the different styles of fonts that they have. And we want the one that says handwriting. I'm not sure, did I pass that already? Look at all these different styles they have though. It's really, really cool, everything that they have. Oh, handwriting, it's right there. Okay, so now it's going to show me all the different handwriting fonts. And if it has a crown beside it, that means that you can't use it unless you have the Canva Pro account. There are two that I really like. Brittany is one of them. I'm going to go ahead and click Brittany, and you can see this turn into Brittany. And the other one is Jonathan. Let me start typing that in here. Okay, so here's the Jonathan font. So let's leave this at this one. So we want to change this to Jonathan as well. Kind of place that in there. And let's make this Jonathan. And you can go through and you know pick whatever font you really think is going to work for what you want your design to look like. We're just going to go with this one for now so that this video doesn't drag on forever. So you'll just place it where you want it. And you've got the beginnings of your design already done. I'm going to group all this together, make it a little bit smaller. Just take a box and drag it around everything and hit group. So now when I move it, it stays together. So this is the base of our design, but we also need those hearts that are going to go on the sleeve that you will fill with um, the kiddos' names. For this one, um, let's do those conversation hearts. This is very um, Valentine's looking already, so let's go with that theme and get the Valentine's hearts. So come over to Elements, and again, I'm going to do conversation heart. Okay, and these graphics pull up. These, these ones really are the best. They're going to be the quality that you need for this kind of a project, and they are only available with the Pro. I'm gonna go ahead and just click this one and bring it in. Okay, you can see this one is three different colors, and I want it to match the colors that are in my design. So I'm gonna change the top color, and I'm gonna come down here and it says, look, photo colors. These are the colors that are already in my design. So let's make this one the purple. And then the next box is going to be the shadow at the back, so we need it to be a little bit darker of a purple. So I'm going to click this box. I'm going to turn it purple, but then I'm going to make it darker by clicking this color selector box up here. So it's already the color I chose. It's already this purple. I'm simply going to drag this to make it darker. And you can see it changing over there on the document, and I think that's probably a good color. The last one is this outline that really gives it the 3D look, and we need it to be an even darker shade. So I've got the outline box selected. I'm going to first turn it to the darker purple color that I created, 
and then we're going to make it darker again, the same way we did the first one. Click the selector and just drag it to a darker color of purple. Okay, now what we have is light, medium, and dark purple. We've taken this conversation heart to the exact colors that are in this document, and we've made it look like it's going to match this document perfectly. Let's do a pink one. Okay, so I'm going to take this heart. And it's already pink, but I want it to be like exactly this pink so that it's a 100% match. So again, we've got our three colors, light, medium, and dark pink, but we're going to match them to the pink that's already in our design. Let me click the box. Now, photo colors. It doesn't really show me the pink that's already in there. I've got to go and find it. So what I'm going to do is make this a lot bigger so that this pink is visible. I'm going to do my color selector here, and I'm going to take this pencil. Check this out. I'm going to click this pencil and drag it over the pink that's in the design. Did y'all see that? You just click the pencil and hover it over the pink that's in the design. I click it, and I automatically have that color. I just changed that to that color. It's not what I meant to do. Okay, now my color box is the exact same color as this heart. And I can come in here, and I can make it darker. So let's see, this is the middle one. We need to change its color to this pink, and then darken it. Get a good shadow, let's see here. How about mm, that, that's probably good. And then we need to change the outline box to make it even darker. So. While it's selected, I'm going to click the darker pink that I just used, and then I'm going to make it even darker. That's probably good right there. Okay, so this is how we're going to create the conversation hearts, but now we need to put the names on them. So let's see. Let's do the name um, Brooke. So we're going to type, we're going to click anywhere in the white space of our design. Type a T, type in the name Brooke, make that a lot bigger because I can't even see it. Bring it down onto this heart. Let's change the font. Now we're going to do kind of like a kid's font because these are the kids' names. So I'm scrolling through here until I get to this school. It's going to show me all the kind of kiddish looking fonts. And I kind of like this um, KG Primary Penmanship. I've actually used this font before in some of my videos, but I like the way that it looks. I think it's going to be good for what we're doing here. So here it is. We need to shrink the name down, put it onto our heart. And then we want to change its color. When you look at these conversation hearts, the words that are on them are stamped into them. So they're the same color as the heart itself, but it's like a shadow. So what we want to do is make it this color, the shadow color that we have used. So click it, come up here to the color box for the text, and just make it that darker color. And just like that, it blends right in to what you're doing. It looks like it would be on that. If you don't like that, if you're not a fan of that look, you can make it darker. Or you can completely change the color. If you want it to be like white, you can come up and do that. So whatever you want that to look like, you'll put your name in there, Make it the color that you want. Let me do another one for this one. Let's do Cody, but for a girl. So I'm going to click in the white, type a T, type Cody, change the font, and bring it down, size it up, and I'm going to change the color to the darker purple. There we go. Okay, so then you just need to group your hearts together. Let's 
Let's see here. Let me move this kind of out of the way. That was too big anyways. I had made it bigger to find that pink. Size it back down. Okay. Now I can just put all of this heart together. Group. Put all of this heart together. Group. Size these the way I want them. Rotate them however they need to be to go on the design. Add however many more you need for your t-shirt. And that's it. You have got your doodle letter t-shirt design. And you don't have to use these for just this specific design. I mean, you could do them for any of the t-shirts that are so popular right now that have the mom or the grandma and the kids' names and all of that that's going on. So I will leave a link in the video description to the digital papers that I have used. And I will leave the link for you to get um, the year of all access for that one-time fee of $59. All right, guys, that's all I have for you. We'll see you next time.